Hi, um, my name is Liz. I'm one of the sewing educators here at Linda Z Sewing Center. And today we are going to go through the process of updating and upgrading your Bernina 770 or Bernina 765 to the plus edition. So in order to complete this process, you'll need a couple of things. You will need a USB stick that is empty. You, um, and it needs to be in the FAT32 file format. You will need um, a piece of paper and a pen to write down some information for your machine. You will need a computer with an internet connection. And uh, to install the upgrade, to activate the upgrade, you will need eventually to have purchased this upgrade kit uh, from Bernina. So we're going to get started. So the first step in, in completing the whole update upgrade process is that we will navigate to the Bernina, um, okay, where, there we go. Navigate, we will navigate to the Bernina uh, 770 support page. So if we go to Bernina 770 support. And this is a good web page to always have in your pocket for your Bernina 770 because this is where all of the firmware is going to be. Um, there's now upgrade manual, um, upgrade instructions, all of that's here, uh, as well as um, copies of your, your uh, machine manual and other useful information. So the first thing we're going to do, we have to download this newest um, firmware. So I'm going to click on this link and it will download for me. And when it downloads, it's going to be in a zip file. So we have to unzip it. And I have plugged a uh, blank USB stick into the machine. Uh, it does need to be in the FAT32 file system, but most USB sticks that are, that are going to be under um, uh, 32 gigs are, are going to be in this file system. Um, so when I, oops, when I navigate to our downloads folder and okay, in our downloads folder, um, I have, this is the zipped file of the firmware. I'm going to open it with Windows Explorer. And now I have these three zipped files and I need to extract them. If you don't extract them first, the machine will not be able to read them. So if I come up here to my compressed folder tools, I can extract all. And then I can decide where I want to extract them. And in this case, I am just going to extract them to my USB drive. So I'm selecting my USB drive folder, select folder, and say extract. And it's, it's working here. And then when it's all done, all I have to do, and now it's on my USB drive, I'm going to eject my USB drive just like that. And when it tells me that it's ready for me to pull the USB drive or it's disappeared here, then I'm ready to pull it and we'll head over to the machine that we're about to update. All right, so I'm sitting here uh, in front of the Bernina 765 Rose Gold Edition that one of my lovely coworkers has brought in for us to update today. Uh, I have the machine off right now, um, but I have inserted the USB stick into the uh, USB port on the side of the machine. When I turn the machine on, it will boot up. And we are going to notate a couple of things uh, and get this update installed. All right, so when my machine comes to its home screen, it's going to make its wake up noises. I'm going to tap on my gears to go to my settings. I'm going to tap on the machine. I'm going to tap on the information 
and the version. And this is telling me that I am currently running software version 37.46.33. The newest version is version 39.07.03, so it's definitely a good time for an upgrade or an update rather, I apologize, and uh, we will uh, get our uh, um, machine updating here. So I do like to notate that. Um, I don't know that it's ne it's absolutely necessary to notate your current version of firmware, but I know that when we do this update in the store or when the technicians do an update while a machine is in for service, we always notate the current firmware version. Uh, so knowing that, I can back out of this menu and come into my wrench menu and tap update. Now, we have a couple of choices here. We can just update, but one of the things that's nice to do is back up all of the settings on your machine. The settings may not stay on your machine throughout the update. So if you're somebody who's done a lot of uh, saved personal stitches, saved embroidery files on your machine, and you want to preserve those, uh, the thing to do is to tap this one here that's saying save my information onto a USB stick. It will do that. It is, I have a green check now, so it's happy. And when my update comes back on, I will tap update. The machine is going to start uh, reboot um, load and install the update and then reboot again and the update will be complete. This takes a couple of minutes um, and then we will pull a piece of information out of the machine. It's, it's called the machine ID. You will need the machine ID and the software key or and the upgrade key uh, in order to get your activation code. All right, this is the screen where it's backing, it's, it's reloading all of our saved settings after the second restart. All right, so when you get this screen, it says update successful. Congratulations, the automatic software update was successfully completed. We wish you many hours of enjoyment with your Bernina. So all you need to do here is tap green check and you are all set with the firmware update. Now, in order to go on to the upgrade, we have to get a couple pieces of information. One of them is a piece of information from inside this machine. We need the machine ID. We're gonna tap the gears icon for settings. We're gonna tap machine. We're gonna tap information and tap ID. This is a unique ID that we will use to combine with um, the upgrade code in order to get the activation code for our uh, upgrade package. So I'm just writing this code down quickly and then uh, we're going to look inside the upgrade box for a moment. So this is what uh, you get when you purchase the upgrade kit. It all comes in this box. It comes with a number of pretty cool things. So we can open this box up here. And inside of the box are some instructions on how to complete the upgrade. We have um, the to uh, freebies or goodies, I guess, not really free. Um, the newest uh, ruler work 72S foot, the, the foot with the slit so that you can change feet without breaking your thread. We have the new couching inserts for the ruler foot and we have the activation key card. Okay, so to actually complete the upgrade, what you need is that activation key card and your instructions. So what the key card looks like, um, when you open it, there's this little 
like tamper evidence seal on it. And when you open it up, there's a little card inside of here and it has uh, a, uh, a code on the back that we're going to put in to uh, the Bernina website along with the machine ID code that we just wrote down. And I'll show you how to combine those to get an activation code. Okay. So to do the second computer part, I first I have to navigate to the Bernina Plus upgrade website. So tap um, support. And if we actually come here to the plus upgrade instructions that I navigated to via their website, one thing that is nice is that I can come here. You can do this either using a QR code scanner on your phone, um, but we can also tap this link right here. So this is telling us this is the upgrade activation website for the Bernina 770. And so there's three steps, the update that we just did, the registration and the upgrade. And we're about to start the registration. So we come down here and we tap get started. And we uh, have generated and notated our machine ID. So we can proceed with the next step. This is where you fill in your personal information. Okay, and it is very important that your email address must be exactly correct because Bernina will send you a uh, confirmation copy of all three of your codes with instructions to hang on to it for warranty purposes should you ever have any difficulty. If you are with us in the store, um, we notate all of this information in your customer profile. If you're doing this with us at a distance and you want to email us, a copy of your information to store in your customer profile, you can forward us that PDF that you will get an email of to support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T at lindazese.com and we will notate it in your customer profile. So here I'm going to enter my machine ID, which is the long number that we just got off of the sewing machine. And then you will choose which machine that you have here and then you will enter the product key off of the card and accept the license agreement. Now, once you do that, it will take you to an activation page where you can um, download a PDF copy, uh, the same copy that it sent you, and also uh, download a copy of the new embroidery designs. So once we have entered in all of the information on um, our machine ID, the activation key off the card, uh, and, and our contact information successfully, it's going to give us our activation key. You can write that down. There's also a PDF file with your information that you can download and print. Uh, you can also uh, get the same PDF file in your email. The other thing that is nice to have is um, downloading a copy of the new embroidery designs and things that uh, are included in the upgrade so that you have a backup copy of them should you ever have to do a factory restore or something like that for your machine. So what you have to do then next is go to uh, your machine. So once you have your activation key, you're going to go in your machine you are going to tap your gears icon to get into the settings. You will tap the machine icon, the information icon, and then tap upgrade. You will have a screen that looks like this and you will click activate in this area and it will bring you to this screen. This screen um, will prompt you to enter that activation key that you got once you combined your information on the Bernina website. And once you have that, the green check here will illuminate and you'll be able to check that. And when it is all over, you will be, it will say enabled right here and you'll be able to access all your new upgrade features.